<laughs> All right, uh, guys. You remember how yesterday we had a little bit of a dilemma where we tamed up this big old Quetzal right here, but had no way of getting a saddle for it? Well, without the luck of, you know, finding one in the wild. Well, I got good news. And it's not that I found a saddle. It's that I guess I got a little bit caught up killing things yesterday. And we actually managed to gain 24 levels from it, which means we will end up at level 78, which means I think we are two levels clear of actually being able to get a Quetzal saddle, which means, uh, well, good things because uh, I could probably fly this guy with, like, I can fly dinosaurs around now. So that's pretty darn cool. But guys, welcome back. Welcome back to our Mega Modded series. If you do enjoy it, if you're enjoying the series, please go ahead, punch that thumbs up. While you're at it, go ahead, stomp on that subscribe button and uh, check out my amazing makeshift Rob the Rex Jumbo plushies available only for the next like 12 to 13 days. After that, they're gone forever for good. Anyways, things are looking pretty good currently. We are we're actually, yeah, got a good old source of dinosaurs, but we're really lacking in the base department. We've got this beautiful sign over here saying Miola Town, and then behind it is a whole lot of nothingness. Legit nothing. Like we got, we got, we got some fences for a little dino pen that is never going to be completed. We've got a farm, which is doing farm things. It's, you know, building up a variety of vegetables for us. That's good. That's doing its purpose. And then up here, atop this little platform, this little cliff face, we got the base. It's not a base. In fact, you know what? Right this second, I'm kind of sick of... I'm sick of being thirsty all the time. I need a water jar and I'm going to fill this thing up and uh, we're going to keep it in every inventory and I'm going to stay nice and, nice and well moisturized. We're going <laughs> to... We're going to keep nice and full of water. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it. Also, apparently I'm typing in the little chat box down there right this second. But there we go. Okay, no more thirst. I'm sick and tired of it. So basically, yeah, I guess if we go and drop these... Hold on a second. There's another one. Another Quetzal. Level 400 one. I can't remember what level this was. It was like 480 or something. All right, we got the good one anyways. But yeah, if we go and allocate these 24 levels, which I'm going to do right this second, it's going to work out where they're going to go. Let's get a good amount of health. I feel like that is important. Actually, fortitude then we can stop sweating all the time and then we might actually be able to i don't know do some stuff without well you know needing water every three seconds and then last but not least maybe one in movement speed as well and that is going to allow us if all goes according to plan well let's see if we can get this quest saddle hey i assume it's going to be crafted in here let's have a peek inside quest saddle <gasps> fiber that's fine that's fine that's fine um in here i have a sickle somewhere I really... Whoa. Oh, it's just a blueprint though. No. Wow, that's really good. Well, we got a good sickle regardless. In here? Do I have another sickle? I'd have lost track. We have so much done stuff now. It's getting a little bit ridiculous. Yeah, this one's even better. It's only a journey or... No, that's a Mastercraft. Apparently, Mastercraft is purple now. Uh, but anyways, let's have a look and see what sort of fiber we can collect with this thing. Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty good. Pretty good if you ask me. Yep, there we go. Just collect it all. Smash it all up. Pulverize it to smithereens. And uh, just like that, we've got what we need. Quetzal saddle coming right up. And then we can go and get all sorts of disappointed that the Quetzal is like nowhere near as useful as I would like for it to be. Because you know that that's the next step. All right. There we go. Quetzal saddle coming right up. Fantastic. And with that comes an extra level. I'm going to put that one into... Wow. I don't actually have no idea. Maybe some movement speed. Can never have too much of that. Huh. Interesting. I could definitely do with a grappling hook right now. The only thing is, I don't even have the eternal, like, crafting bench thing. I haven't even... I never crafted this thing up. I mean, I, don't, I guess I didn't have the resources last time I checked, but still, I don't really have anywhere to put this thing. So maybe while I'm here, I should uh, go ahead and quickly craft up some extra foundations too. And of course, we are met with a storm. It's always the way. It's always the way. I don't know why. We, it's, it's, it's like raining 50% of the time on this map. It's actually insanity. Anyways, we'll go and spread that out a little bit. I'll go and throw this little crafting bench down. And while I'm at it, I'm actually going to do something else as well that I've been meaning to do for such a long time. It's time to get an upgrade station. Except apparently not because I'm five metal short. Are you joking? It's not even ingots, just regular metal too. That's right. We'll have to go and get some of that. I just want to craft up these eternal grapples. I, I can't craft. Oh, wait. No, I can't. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold your horses. Uh, yeah, this one right here, right? There we go. Yes. 
and that should give me three there we go i'm assuming i can just throw that onto my grapple thing and uh we got some beautiful stuff in here that i really need to suss out all right cool well at least now we've got the options okay so here's what <laughs> the whole reason i wanted to get this because i need to get to this dude so i can equip this thing and now i can ride it yes except it's incredibly slow i wonder what happens if i put some speed levels into it is that gonna make you nice and fast not really but it is gonna give him a tiny little speed buff i should have just took my pteranodon to do this i'm taking him up to collect this little metal spot up here i can't even remember where it is but here it is here it is. i knew there was metal nearby and it was hard to reach by foot here we go squeeze through look at it all nice old chunky amount of the good stuff here and uh we can actually put our new pickaxe to the test too last time we went metal collecting i didn't have this amazing pickaxe so we are uh, collecting metal much faster than we were last time which is fantastic metal is no longer going to be a problem soon especially once i go ahead and team up i don't know an anki or a mantis of some variety i don't know i don't know what it's going to be yet but we do need some good harvesters been saying it for like three or four days now we really just got to pull our finger out and do it but uh i think we've actually got quite a bit of stuff to catch up on now especially since we just leveled up like through what was it like 30 something times what's that is that spider <gasps> obsidian jug bug i actually kind of got to tame one of those all right there's another one down here that's also an obsidian jug bug hold on i just so happen to have vegetables here buddy actually wait hold on I'll, I'll feed you one of the ones i've got like a lot of i think i think i got a lot of these hold on i should be able to just give you one of these put taming food in the last slot base veggie it says that you want a veggie what are you talking about do you want a measure berry all right take the measure berry and oh that's it oh sweet all right, i have no idea how these things work but i assume it's gonna generate obsidian for me there's another one down here too i may as well just double down and take two of these guys uh cool you guys all right stop moving for a second i don't know where you're trying to get to all right i guess we're just gonna i guess i'm just gonna lead them home i don't i don't know what, what else to do with these little dudes <laughs> follow me my little buggy friends uh thankfully base is just down here it'll take us two seconds to get to all right i'm gonna assume that they're following us down i might have gotten a little bit too quick but we'll find out soon for now though i wanted to craft something oh the upgrade station how could i forget let's go and get this thing at last, the upgrade station is in my con- I should have done this so long ago. I was going to place it here. And now that we've got this, I knew my little dudes were going to follow me down. Fantastic. But now that we've got this, we can actually go and start grinding up some of our, you know, unnecessary items. Some of the, I guess, collection. Oh, that's a Fiomia saddle. I thought that was a, uh... for a second there, I thought that was a Quetzal saddle. I was like, what? But no, 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 no. All right, yeah, we're basically going to go and grind all of this up for all of the resources that it's worth. Hopefully keep the good stuff, but I might make some mistakes along the way. And we're going to see what sort of resources we can pull from all of this, because I think we are going to... I think we're going to be pretty set once we go and grind all this up. I can't even let you know, because it's all too heavy. Are you serious? Uh, oh, yeah, that's right, because I've got all the metal in my inventory. All right, let's start out with this pile right here. So lots of chitin, a few little metal pieces here and there, but ultimately it's all... We're never going to use this stuff. It's as simple as that. In fact, I am going to just check the weapon, like, damages and stuff like that of what I've got in my hotbar. So, as far... Oh, that's a better pike. That's a much better pike up here, too. Oh, yeah, that's amazing. Um, We've got the good hatchet, of course. That thing is incredible. And then we've got a pretty good pickaxe, too. All right. So, that's uh, salvage. <laughs> I was not expecting steel ingots, but I'll take it. Also, half of this stuff didn't break that's better okay not bad dude 825 metal not bad at all uh what else have we got in here we got saddles oh uh, this is where the good stuff's gonna come from i actually don't even know if i should break all of this up also i gotta be careful here because we got oh we got rifles too long neck rifles mm, okay let's just grab that yeah this is all blueprints i can't break any of this stuff down anyways i can just reach there and this is where i gotta be a little bit Hmm, I gotta weigh this one here up. Can't break that anyways. I do have a uni- Oh, all right, I'm gonna keep the Anki saddle just because who knows. And then we got some pretty good long neck rifles here. One of them is Ascendant. The other is just a better percent. I think I'm gonna keep them both and I'll break the rest down. 
But let's have a look. Three, two, one, go. Uh, oh, damn. <laughs> 1,755 metal. All right, I'll take it. I'll take it. That's actually really, really nice. All right, get it all back in there. And then in here, we got a whole bunch of other stuff. It's, you know what? Here, we're going to do this the old-fashioned way. Pull it all across. Uh, flak. I don't think I'm going to be using much of this. So we're going to pull that across too. Metal. Uh, we'll grab that, grab that, grab that. And then that'll be it. Is there anything else? There's those grapples I've been looking for. We got a pike. We got a gun. We got a gun. We got a crossbow. That's just not as good as the one I've got. And a much better bow thing my Bobby right here too. Hmm. Okay, that one. That one's gonna stay. We're gonna keep that one there. And everything else is getting busted up, including these ones here. Getting rid of those two. All right, that's it. That's it. That's gonna be everything. But now that we've gotten all of this ground up, we're pretty much set for resources for a little while. At least we never get, we should never need hide ever again. We shouldn't need metal for a little while either. And we certainly, most certainly are not going to need to go looking for chitin again, which is uh, really refreshing. <laughs> really, really, really refreshing. There we go. Fantastic. Nice. Now let's see what we can actually do with that stuff. Is there anything in here that we have since... Oh, wow. Okay, we've... We've unlocked a bunch of stuff since I last checked in here. We've got experience potions that require vegetables. We've got, yep, all of this sort of stuff. Okay. What are these? Oh, alpha saddles. Okay. So, had I actually tamed up that alpha mantis the other day, probably could have put this saddle on it. It seems as though we're slowly collecting alpha saddles. We've got the industrial forge, which I might be able to craft up. The super stimulant. Costs a half of the requirement for the hype stimulant, but can still wake you immediately. Okay, so that's for waking you up. There's a wyvern saddle in here. There's other saddles in here, and that seems to be about it. How about in the eternal thing? Yeah, again, lots of saddles. Lots of alpha saddles. This is going to get so confusing because there's alphas belonging to both mods. I think there's... Oh, God. Yeah, this is going to get so confusing the further we go here. But uh, we're going we're gonna to work it out. We're going to work it out. It's A-OK. -okay. In fact, I think there's also something else that I can craft up that also has a bunch of stuff in it. And that's the Pandora box. Um, I read this somewhere. I don't, I, this is uh, ACR, Anuna Anunnaki Creatures Reborn. Yep, so this belongs to the Anunnaki mod. I got nowhere to place this thing. We'll just chuck it right here. <laughs> and this gives me access to DLC stuff, whatever that means. Boss trophy drops full. Okay, so I guess it just gives you stuff that you might not be able to get from other maps, perhaps? Or like, yeah, I, I actually don't know. Either ways though, it's a bunch of stuff that actually is very similar stuff. It's just slightly different. I actually don't know if these two are two separate items or not, but well, now we got both of them. So yeah, uh, we got we got the option, I guess. I have no idea. <laughs> Anyways, I think it's time for us to go for a little bit of a search around the map. I, as you know, oh, do I bring... Who do I even bring with me? Are we going to find creatures I want to kill? Or are we going to find creatures I want to tame? Because I know the old poisonous one down there. He, oh, he's the knockout artist. This guy is the killer. Maybe I just bring you. And then if I find something I want to tame, we, we just do it. Um, let me, though, quickly just hop up here. Grab our... What do I even... Ooh, XP potion. Okay, I'll bring that. What's this? A large XP... Okay, I'll bring that too. Um, where are my little metabolizers? They must be in here. There you are. Fantastic. My kibble. Bring those as well, just in case we find something really nice to tame up. But ultimately, we're not looking for something to tame up today. No, what I do want to find, though, is... I guess I want to find a base location. One second. Can I do this? Oh, 14 electronics. Sure. Okay, if I find an electronic dinosaur on this hunt... We need to kill it. We need to steal its electronics. Well, I'm, looking, I'm talking tech dinosaurs. If I can find a tech dinosaur, we need to kill it. We have killed something in the past that gave us electronics. I just can't remember what it was. But if we find another one, yeah, I need to uh, salvage. I need to get in there and, and steal its resources. Ooh, hello. Oh, what is that, by the way? We got a Jaws down the beach. Level 260. No, okay. I got to resist the temptation because that's not really what we're looking for right now. But an Alpha Triceratops. I bet you this thing kicks. All right, is this one of the ones that is this? Is, is it gonna wait? It says passive tame. Hold on, are you passive? Some of these alphas are really aggressive, which is why I'm a little nervous. Yeah, he's aggressive. He's aggressive. He's 100% aggressive. Also, yo, hold on a second. There's a prime alpha fight going on over here. What's it fighting? This dodo is getting whipped by a raptor. And if it doesn't, okay, it didn't. Okay, should I try and kill it, or will it kill me? 
either way is i like as we oh gosh oh no oh uh um okay uh this is see, this is why this is what i was talking about this is why we should have brought our other one our cursed one would have swept the floor with this thing but no now i gotta go and do it with my own two hands uh only because it's halfway dead i need to steal this kill it's it's cheap and easy experience not to mention cheap and easy loot 15,000 damage though all right let's let's do this thing all right we've got him cornered thankfully these pteranodons have amazing knockback so we can pretty much just pin the poor thing against the wall and just smack it to bits but 4,000 left to go and let's just cross our fingers and hope we actually get some sweet loot out of this we're gonna get some hide we're gonna get some other stuff let's have a look done evolution tributes evolution extract black pearls once again and i can't do you have anything on you no but do you give me anything for harvesting alpha blood and ancient hide nice i'm pretty sure we need that stuff in copious amounts at some stage also an elite zomdodo again down there interesting mm, i'm not going to focus on that i am very oh my good that's not even the same one but another alpha triceratops oh it's a oh, i don't even know what mod it's from i think this one's an anunnaki genesis one though i kind of want to tame it but it, it says passive if i got that silver kibble that we collected yesterday would i be able to feed it it did get aggressive oh you know what i'm gonna try it all right be right back i'll be back in three seconds i actually don't know why i didn't bring the silver treats with us in the first place i don't even know where i've where i'm keeping these things there they are okay they're they're even about to spoil they're legit about to spoil let's see if i can i don't know do something with them so it's not this one this one's a level 430 it's this one over here this guy here is the level 540 we're just gonna have to be very careful here because this thing probably will attack us but according to this to the description here these do say uh it works on passive taming which apparently according to my spyglass information this guy should be a passive team we're just gonna have to creep up on it despite it being very very quick and hopefully i can just you know feed it to its behind and uh, not get killed in the process oh what it's not even an instant team oh that might have been a that that, that might have been a big big mistake okay then oh no uh <laughs> I don't think I've got what it takes to tame this thing. Can I give it some of the augmented kibble instead of just the regular? Where are you running off to, buddy? I'm not going to sit here and feed you like a thousand berries. Put it that way. This guy makes me a little nervous, though. Why are you so sparkly? You make me very uneasy. Oh, now I'm hungry. What are you doing to me, Zomdodo? All right. Do you actually drop me anything nice? That's all I'm curious about. Oh, okay. Wait. That, I think this guy could have been tamed up with one silver treat. It even it even had it in its description. It didn't give me anything. But uh, yeah, I think we just wasted a silver treat basically because I'm not going to bother taming that track. That's going to... Yeah, I just don't have what it takes to do it. So uh, we're going to we're gonna continue moving. Yeah, let's keep looking around and see if we, if we can find some nice base spots. This does look cool, but it's not going to work. Speaking of cool, maybe we can come and live on over in little Skull Island over here. Except I already see a snake. <laughs> Oh, and spiders too. Well, if we're looking for chitin, this seems to be the place to go. There are some resources in there. It's, okay, yeah, no, no, this isn't this isn't the nice little base spot I was uh I was imagining it was going to be. However, I am going to feed these to my guy right now. Tiny experience potion. Who did it give experience to? I'm the only one who leveled up. I don't think my dude did. What if oh no, if I Oh, there it goes. Okay, I was really delayed. All right, what if I give him the big one? I'm just waiting for this to activate. This should... It's going to increase to sub... There it goes, nine. I mean, I was expecting a little bit more, not going to lie. But it'll do. It will do. Let's keep searching. Sooner or later, I'm sure we'll find something either worth taming or somewhere worth living. Or some tech dinosaurs to kill. That would also be really, really nice. Yeah, I'm just going to take a shortcut through the... Oh, yeah, I really want an eternal Enki! Mm, okay all right i want a high level one though also yo what have we got up here what is that okay all right okay double wardens we've got Picon, creator of the primal fear mod the warden of the sky and we've also got el diablo warden of the mountains 
Oh, I like it. Oh, there's the tech dinosaur we've been looking for too. Of course. Of course, the only tech dinosaurs we'd be finding are the giant wardens. Yeah, these guys are like the boss of Bo. <gasps> wow. That thing is strong. I'm looking past the wardens right now. <gasps> All right, we are actual. We are. Okay, here we go. We got Gigas down. They look like little baby Gigas too. We've got a Prime Alpha Raptor. Is that what that is? That is a Prime Alpha Raptor with 8.2 million health, mind you. There's also a little Shock Raptor. We've also got this thing, a Prime Flame Giga. I don't even know what I'm looking at right now. And then we've got this thing, a Prime Shock. Oh my gosh. Okay. I don't know what mod any of these things belong to, but I feel like no matter... Okay, the, the further we head into the center of the map, the stronger things are getting. That part is for certain. There's also an Alpha Direwolf over there. These things are ridiculously strong. They're health. And the torpor on these. I'm a little bit nervous, to be honest with you. There's also another one. Oh, my goodness. All right. Here's the deal, guys. I feel like we've been living on our little beach for way too long. And we've, we've we, I guess this is like the big eye opener. We have finally explored out way too deep. And I'm seeing what travesties and just devious dinosaurs live out in the middle of the world. And uh, I am kind of worried because things don't look friendly out here. Oh, there's another froggy man warden of the plains. There's so many wardens right in this little area down here. We've got another eternal dodo. We've got an elite Dimorphodon. And then you've got this Primantis. I want this thing so bad. The only thing is it's got 833,000 torpor. I wonder if I were to like swoop it, what would happen? I need mutton, alpha meat or raw. I don't even need much. I don't even have to feed it much to tame it. I might die in the process, though, if I get too caught up here. Uh, oh, gosh. I thought it actually had me there for a second. I think I dealt 10,000 torpor. Where did he go? 30,000 torpor. I could knock this thing out. I just also might get one shot by it. I feel like the risk versus reward is there, though. I 100% do. If I can... Um, like, maybe? It's so much torpor to deal. But this would by far be our strongest dinosaur. This thing would be a killer, a harvester. This thing would be, it would be a knockout. I can, this thing could do anything. Anything it puts its mind, heart, and soul to. I just need to make sure I don't get stuck on it and die. That's, that's all I need to make sure of. Otherwise, I really only need to hit this thing like 20. Oh, you bananas. What are you doing? Well, we're going to see what the mantis is capable of right this second. Because it's going to annihilate... Yeah, it's deal it deals about 3,000 damage a hit. And that's why I'm up here. Um, I should be careful. Shouldn't be doing that. Oh, hold on a second. Wait. No, 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 no. Wait, the Allosaurus killed it? Wait, you killed the Mantis? How did you do that? Okay, now I'm really... Oh, now Fagano. Oh, my goodness. Um, The Mantis died. How? That was... What, the bleed out? The thing had like uh, a couple hundred thousand health, didn't it? All right, now I'm confused and everything. I feel like I just knew I don't know anymore. Um, I'll take the Allosaurus brain, sure. There is another backpack here with stuff in it. All right, I'll take it. Why not, I guess. But okay, cool. I guess you learn something new every day. And today I learned that that wasn't as strong as I thought it was going to be. Prime Argy over there. Oh my goodness. Everything is just way too strong for us. I guess the hunt for a nice old mantis continues. Let's just follow this river and see where it leads us to. Just everywhere we go is boss music though, isn't it? It's a nice little spot. Ah, purple supply drop coming right down. All right, we're going to go and check that out in just a second. This is a cool little area. I like this one here. Okay. All right, let's have a little scout over here and see what we can find. That looks like an alpha triceratops. Maybe the different mod. It's level 360 this time around. Are you... Hmm. You're an Anunnaki Genesis one, 100%. Yeah, okay. This one, I don't think... I... An elemental curse track up there. I think this is different to the other one that we tried to tame earlier. And if it is, it's going to be ridiculously aggressive. Yet here I am getting way too close to it. I'm going to try and feed it a silver kibble. And if we waste it, we waste it. It's as simple as that. Buddy, would you like a silver treat? Okay, he did. <laughs> um, same mistake as last time though. It is nowhere near enough to tame the thing up. So I probably shouldn't have done that. Um, big mistake on my part. Yeah, now I don't really know what to do. <laughs> Poisonous one, don't land next to the trike. That might knock your head off. However, all right, he's not... Okay, now he's angry. I got too close. Well, we wasted our silver treats. 
abort, abort. Get out of there right this second. And, oh, do I go for this or not? It's underwater. I'm going to, assure, like, there might be piranhas down there. There might not be. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just try and land right here. Surely I could take... Okay, this trike... Okay, trike is angry. Uh, buddy, it's cool. I didn't... I didn't attack you. I was going to be friends with you. But... Now... Wait, did he just disappear? Wait, did he just vanish? He legit did. All right. Cool. Hey. All right. <laughs> he despawned right before our eyes. Sweet. I guess he wanted me to have the supply drop. He felt bad for chasing me. All right, let's have a peek. Let's see what we got. What do we got in here? More goodies. We'll have a look in a second. So there was too much there to actually look at. And yeah, there are piranhas down here, except they're just over there. Okay, thankfully, they gave me enough. Well, okay, let me just get out of the water first. They gave me enough room to collect the supply drop and get out of there. What did we get though? We got more chitin. There's so much chitin gear in these drops. We got a, it's pretty much the same stuff. It's always the same stuff. Another Tyranodon saddle. It's better than the one I've got actually. Let's switch those two around. It's going to give me double protection just about. So that's really nice. Not as good as the other one we found a while back, but still pretty good nonetheless. Um, all right. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. I'll take it. All right. Let's see what else we can find around here. Unfortunately, though, we're going to be looking through rather dreadful weather, which a uh, little, little less than ideal. Oh, I forgot these things exist. Tech striders. I can't even remember how these things work, but... I know you can tame them. I just can't remember the process. And you got to hack them or something, don't you? How are these things tameable? Uh, use mutagel in the last slot to initiate hacking. I think you need 121 mutagel, though, of which I have nine. Uh, and how do you switch? I know you can craft one into the other or break one down or something. But yeah, okay. That's how this thing works. You need mutagel. How does the whole hacking thing work again? Oh, I legit need 121 of it. All right. This is max level two. I don't know what... Oh, man. What attachments has this thing got? He's got the antlers, which is like a radar, I'm pretty sure. It's got the gun, which is a weapon. Doesn't have anything on his back, which is like the giant storage. Doesn't have the storage or harvesting capabilities, though, which is probably the only reason I would tame one. So, not worth stopping for. This fog might be worth stopping for. I might just purge up here for a second and wait for it to subside. And then, uh, I don't know, we'll continue on, I guess. Okay, all right, hold on just a second. I saw some wings flapping while I was kind of AFK waiting for the weather to change. And it's a void worm. <laughs> now, I could technically tame this. I've got the mutagel to make it happen. I'm kind of tempted, not gonna lie. The only thing is it says passive tame. There's no way that that's a passive tame, right? I actually know nothing about these guys. It is a low level, but like, do I just try and knock it out or what? Yeah, 100% I'm gonna try and knock this thing out. All right, let's just be really cool about this though. Okay, not ideal. All right, I just wanna keep the trees there. No, you weren't meant to fly away, you peanut. What are you doing? You're meant to stay locked in the tree because I know that you can dismount me. No, no. Okay, okay, okay. I know, I know you're strong. You don't need to flex your little shocking abilities like that. Let's just, uh, let's just, you know. <laughs> just go to sleep, will ya? Come on. Let me have this tame. There he goes. All right. Now, unfortunately, I got to deal with this guy because he's nice and angry too. So let's quickly go and knock him out so he doesn't interrupt my business and hey look at that the weather's gone and cleared itself up nice cannot be tamed outside of the space are you joking cannot be tamed outside of the space biome then why does he ex oh gosh he's about to wake up uh um, um hold on hold on hold on let me just make sure he stays asleep a little while longer i'm not done with him yet ah uh, what what do you mean there is no space biome on this map you pile of trash wait this is actually really ineffective so is that wait what Wow, this guy... Oh, that's right. This guy had damage reduction. We learned this the other day. All right. Well, my best bet at killing him is going to be with my Tyranodon then. So just excuse me while I do exactly that. All right. A couple more hits. My goodness. <laughs> this, these guys are hard to take down. But uh, it just occurred to me... This is actually exactly what I was looking for on this journey. Because when I go and whack it with my hatchet, there's the electronics that we were talking about earlier. 
Uh, what, what, what? Actually, I should have gone and I should have. I should have gone and killed the other thing, the, the harvester thing about Bobby, the strider. That would have given me the tech elements and stuff that I needed to, not elements, electronics. Either ways though, we now probably have enough electronics to craft up a teleporter. Not on me right now, obviously, but we've got the rest of it back at base, which means we can go and find a new base location and then we can place a teleporter at it and then we can teleport to it. I don't need to, you know, do the old grind and grind. With all of my dinosaurs. Oh, no. Okay, that might be a problem. But let's have a look. Okay, what have we got here? We got some saddles. Anki saddles. We got a saber saddle. <gasps> like the most amazing Pteranodon saddle in the world. All right, let's get out of here because I didn't even check for piranhas before I hopped in here. Also, yep. As expected. Piranhas. Okay, not good. Uh, okay. Okay, okay. Give me one second. I seem to have burnt through all of my grapples because they weigh too much. Uh, I need to drop something. How heavy am I? Oh gosh, I'm about to drown. Oh gosh, I'm about to drown. Oh, I don't even know what to drop. Oh gosh, oh gosh. Uh, I'm, I'm panicking. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm overthinking. I'm overthinking. Get rid of this. Get rid of this. And oh gosh. Oh, 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 that. 100%. Oh, I'm too, too heavy. What? Um, another long neck rifle. You know what? It's probably the way to go. How am I still too heavy? I. Oh gosh, I need to get like rid of another 10 kilos. That. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Um, <laughs> I'm overthinking this way. Too. Oh, I got two. Okay. I didn't realize I had two metal shields on me. And not to mention a giant level 570 untamable spino out here as well. Why is that thing untamable? Now, like, I re now, all that does is make me want to tame it even more. Maybe that's like a little mini boss that we need to. All right. You know what, spino? I'll come back for you, mate. Yes, I will. For now, though, I'm going to return to base because I've got way too much loot on my hands and it needs to be put somewhere. Also, this is an amazing little base location. I'm actually really tempted to come and live over here. What in the world is that? <laughs> what is that? A ghost brood mother? What? Okay, then. 800,000 health, 2.3 million torpor. It is tameable. But, you know, it seems like we need some pretty end game stuff to make that happen. Whoa, okay. Big cave. All right. All right. Nope. We're going home. We're going home. Home sweet home. And with this little return home, I actually have something rather amazing on me. A 300 armor unique Pteranodon saddle. Oh my goodness. Okay, now that is uh, that is something special. And to top it all off, yes, I know I'm running really slowly. I can also, I think, yes, craft up my favorite little tool in the world, the awesome teleporter remote. I don't know why my brain was going to say deluxe, but uh, this thing here is going to allow us to teleport around the map if we want to. For now, though, I can only teleport to obelisks. I cannot return back to base, though. We are going to need to place a teleporter here. We're going to have to place a teleporter at our future base location if we end up moving. Uh, this is good. This is good. This is going to make, make travel far more convenient than it's ever, ever been. Guys, thanks for watching. I'll catch you tomorrow. Keep on smiling. Have a fantastic day. And, uh, See you in the next one. Bye for now.